What's up, everyone? It's Mike from Mike as well, and I know it's crazy scary when you're looking at my TV screen right now. Yeah, this is the flickering issue. You're not going to have this issue always like this, so it's just nothing to be scared about. Usually, it looks like this. But when you play the video games at 120 hertz and uh, you come back to this desktop screen, this is what happened. I mean, it just does happen, doesn't happen like all the time. You can literally use your desktop at 120 hertz and 100 hertz, whatever, whichever you want to prefer. 120 hertz is the maximum you can go on LG OLED C10. It is uh, 120 hertz 4K. The native goes to 60 hertz, so you have to make sure you go to the PC resolution. You have to scroll down a little bit. And there you go, you find 38, 40, 20, 160. So 2160 p you do 120 hertz. But this is where the problem starts. As soon as you set this resolution, you will get to do everything that you can do normally on your computer. But as soon as you start playing a video game, which is the G-Sync compatible, that's when the issues start. So when you do the adjustments on the NVIDIA control panel, make sure you come to the Windows settings and match this refresh rate. Because sometimes, like if your refresh rate is 119.880 Hz, it's going to have a mismatch with the NVIDIA control panel and with your Windows uh, refresh rate settings for the monitor. So make sure they both are aligned. They both are showing the same numbers. Then I'm going to show you what happens when I go to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I tried it on a couple of other games too and made sure my G-Sync was turned on. As you can see that G-Sync is enabled here and um, this display is compatible. So I'm gonna start playing and I'll show you what happens. It's a little scary, but I mean, don't be scared. Don't just hold off on buying this TV just because it has crazy flickering issues because most of you will not even notice that because it just happens on the NVIDIA RTX 3070, 3080 and 3090 because th those are the only cards where you can do the HDMI 2.1 right most of you will have the previous gen card so you will not notice and also like the people who have the consoles which are hdmi 2.0 will not have this issue because there's no 4k 120 hertz supported console out there until you get the ps5 and the xbox series x next month so there's this this problem is not with everyone right now only people who are using the rtx 30 70 80 and 90 they are the only ones with this option to do 4k uh, 120 hertz i'm sure 3070 you cannot do that but 3080 and 3090 you can do 4k 120 frames per second so right now you see the resolution here 1440p because i've been playing this game and this is the only solution i had to lower down the resolution to 1440p and play on 120 hertz but i mean i want to make sure that i get what i paid for right i mean you also want to get what you paid for so i will go ahead and do this test on the 2160p and uh, you see that as soon as I switch my resolution down uh, up up to 120 hertz, you have this flickering issue. You see that how it is flickering every second or every two seconds. This is the issue, and a lot of people are having it uh, who have the RTX 3080 and 3090, and they try to play the PC gaming on LG OLED C10 on 120 hertz. So. This problem has already been sorted out. Like I'm just doing this voiceover. This problem came when I started playing a week ago and the video is kind of late. But the solution that I found is not available in US right now. There's a firmware update, which is just available in the core on the on the Korean website. So if you go to the South Korea website and you download from there, it will work. But I'll recommend not to do that. I have done that on my TV. It's working flawless, but I don't know if I'm going to get automatic updates in future for the US. It's just kind of confusing, right? I mean, I just use these TVs for the testing purpose, so I just don't want you to do that on your TV. But, I mean, if you're eager enough, you want to do the update, you can head down to the uh, website, the Korean website, South Korea website for the LG Electronics, and you can download the firmware update from there. But LG knows this issue. It's been already discussed. I already contacted the customer support myself. So they are working on the US update. So as soon as you have that update, you will have the clean 4K 120 hertz without any flicker. I had this flickering issue and I just found out that it's it's not something that I would do. So I would reduce down my resolution to 1440p and see how it works. And it was working fine for me. But then I was having some scaling issues because it's a 4K native panel and I was doing G-Sync on it. So... That was the only solution for the gaming meanwhile but right now i'm doing 4k 120 hertz gaming and it's with the software update that lg has released for the south korean market all right this is it from this video guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and i'll be posting another video about the 
a new feature that LG has introduced in the new update. So if you want to know about that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.